Hello, I'm David Hughes. Welcome to Your Perfect Body, the podcast of the Esoteric Teaching Community. Today's selection is an essay entitled You Cannot Stop War, Part 2. The battle of Kurukshetra was inevitable because it was Krishna's will. All efforts to avoid violence failed because the aggressors, Duryodhana's party, were determined to prevail. Therefore, Arjuna's only honorable and intelligent course of action was to fight. Not only because it was a point of honor for a Kshatriya to fight when challenged, even by one's own relatives, but more importantly, because it would please Krishna. Savai Pungsang Paro Dharmo Yato Bhakti Radhokshaje Ahaitukya Prati Hata Yayatma Suprasidati. The supreme occupation, Dharma, for all humanity, is that by which men can attain to loving devotional service unto the transcendent Lord. Such devotional service must be unmotivated and uninterrupted to completely satisfy the self. Srimad Bhagavatam 1 2 6. Bhakti means worship or service to the Supreme Lord. Bhaja Sevayam. The Sanskrit root word bhaj is used for the purpose of rendering service, bhaja. And although bhaja is a verb, in Sanskrit grammar one can use kti pratyaya, the suffix kti, to make it a noun. So bhaj plus kti becomes bhakti. Bhakti means to satisfy Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, by devotional service. The word bhakti cannot be applied to other kinds of worship. If somebody says, for example, that I am a great devotee of Goddess Kali, that is not what is meant by bhakti. That is business, because there is always some selfish material purpose behind any demigod worship. Generally, people become a devotee of Goddess Kali for eating meat. That is their selfish purpose. In Vedic culture, those who are meat eaters have been advised that don't eat meat purchased from the slaughterhouse or from the market. Actually, this system of centralized slaughterhouses was never seen anywhere in the world. This is a recent invention of industrialized society. Sometimes we talk with Christians, and when we inquire that, Lord Jesus Christ says, Thou shalt not kill, so why are you killing animals? They give evidence that Christ also ate meat sometimes. Even if we accept that sometimes Christ ate meat, even though it is not mentioned in the Bible, did Christ say that you should maintain huge industrial slaughterhouses, kill millions of animals, and eat meat at every single meal? Jesus Christ might have eaten meat. Sometimes if he was traveling and there was nothing else available, what could he do? That's another question. In great necessity, when there is no other food except meat, then eating meat is permissible to save your life. That time is coming in this age, Kali Yuga. Gradually nice food like vegetables and grains will become unavailable. It is stated in the esoteric teaching, Saka mula misakshaudra phala pushpasti bhojanaha anavrishtya vinankshyanti durbiksha karapitidaha Harassed by famine and excessive taxes, People will resort to eating leaves, roots, flesh, wild honey, fruits, flowers, and seeds. Struck by drought, they will become completely ruined. Srimad Bhagavatam 12.2.9 In the future, no rice, wheat, milk, or sugar will be available. This is going on already in parts of Africa, but in the future, it will become the condition of the majority of human beings. One will have to eat meat, and maybe even eat human flesh also, 
just to survive. This sinful life is so degrading that they will become more and more sinful. Tanahang dvishata kruran, sangsare shu naradaman, kshipam yajasram ashubhan, asurishveva yonishu. Those who are envious and mischievous, who are the lowest among men, are cast by me into the ocean of material existence, into various demoniac species of life. Bhagavad Gita 16.19 Nature's law for those who are demons, who are sinful, is to place them in such a condition that they will become more and more sinful, so they never will be able to understand Krishna. That is nature's law. If you want to forget God, then God will put you in such a condition that you can never understand him. That is demonic life. That time is also coming. At the present time, still, a few people are interested to understand what is God. Chatur vidha bhajante mang jana sukritorjuna ato jignasur artarti jnani cha bharatar sabha O best among the Bharatas, Arjuna, four kinds of pious men render devotional service unto me. The distressed, the desirer of wealth, the inquisitive, and he who is searching for knowledge of the Absolute Truth. Bhagavad Gita 7.16 So, four kinds of men, Arto, Artarti, Jignasu, and Jnani. Huh? The distressed, the desirer of wealth, the inquisitive, and the one who is wise. They search after Krishna. But the time is coming when there will be no sense to understand God, that is the last stage of Kali Yuga, and at that time, hundreds of thousands of years from now, the Kalki avatar will come and simply kill everybody. At that time, there was no more preaching of God consciousness, no more esoteric teaching, simply killing the demoniac populace. And then again, Satya Yuga, the Golden Age, will come. So this problem of fighting will be with us for a long, long time. We have to understand that the fighting spirit is there in everyone. You cannot check it. You cannot stop it. You cannot change people to make them stop fighting. We do not say, we do not even try to make people stop fighting. The Mayavadi philosopher says that you must stop this. Huh? But that's not possible. You cannot stop because you are a living entity conditioned by material nature. You have got these propensities. How can you stop it? But it should be utilized properly. That's the thing. You have got the fighting spirit. So how do you utilize it? Nartam Das Thakur recommends Krodha Bhakta Dvesi Jane. Those who are envious of God or God's devotee, you can utilize your anger upon them. You can utilize your fighting spirit in preaching. The anger, you cannot give up, you cannot stop it, but our business is how to utilize it. That is Krishna consciousness, that is the esoteric teaching. Everything, whatever we have got, has to be utilized in spiritual service. We do not say that artificially you stop this activity or stop that activity. No, it's impossible. Krishna says, Yat karoshi yadashnasi Yaj juhosi dadasi yat, yat tapasyasi konteya, tat kurvasya madarpanam. O son of Kunti, all that you do, all that you eat, all that you offer and give away, as well as all austerities that you may perform, should be done as an offering to me. Bhagavad Gita 9.27 Krishna does not say that you do this or you stop doing that. He says, whatever you do is okay, but the result should be offered to me. So here is the position that Arjuna is to fight not for himself, but for Krishna. His problem is that he is only thinking in terms of himself. He says, vidma karatan no garyo, yadva jayema yadi vano jayeyuhu. Yaneva hatva na jijivisamas, 
Yevastita Pramukhe Dhartarashtraha. Nor do we know which is better, conquering them or being conquered by them. The sons of Dhritarashtra, whom if we killed we should not care to live, are now standing before us on this battlefield. Bhagavad Gita 2.6